In the name of Jesus, Pastor Taylor here, coming from Christ Lutheran Church. In our text today, we hear about 70 or 72 nameless, faceless people who were sent out by Jesus. And they were sent out by Jesus because, in Jesus' own words, the harvest was plentiful, but the workers were few. The harvest was plentiful, but the workers are few. That's a sad picture, actually. Just imagine a farmer who looks at his field that's golden with harvest and then looks around him that day and sees no servants to gather it in. Now you can even just start to understand the agony that Jesus must have felt as he looked around at a beautiful harvest of people that was ready, to, that was ready and ripe to be picked, but so few workers to go out with his message. And in many ways, that's not much different today. The harvest is, is, is plentiful, but the workers are few. But there are still workers. We have prayed for workers, and they are still going out, still being sent. I just want you to think today about the missionaries that go out in our name and supported by us. Yes, a portion of our budget at Christ Lutheran Church goes to send missionaries around the world and even around the United States, even around our own community in Pewaukee. Yes, we give a portion to those missionaries to support them. And Jesus, in our text as well as today, prepares these uh, men and women who go out for either acceptance or rejection. Yes, because of the message that we share, it will be accepted or rejected. And what happens when the message is accepted, Jesus says, expect to be supported. And it's not just with verbal encouragement, but support with wages. And that's no different today. We don't just encourage our pastors, our missionaries. We also support them with our finances so that they can go and share the message of Jesus. And Jesus also talks about rejection. Yes, the message was also rejected, and it still is today. And where there is rejection, there is the warning of God's coming judgment. And yes, that's a sad commentary today that where there is rejection, there is an announcement of God's impending judgment upon sin, upon the rejection of his message. So to close, a good rule of thumb for you as you go out, recognize that you are also an answer to this prayer. Yes, the harvest is still plentiful, but the workers are few, and we pray for workers, and you are the answer to that prayer. You are Jesus' representative. And as you go out, don't take a person's acceptance or rejection personally. Remember, it's not about you, it's about the message. And the Lord works through that message, and it's up to him. It's up to him. You are called to represent him. And there are other places in the Bible that speak about God's precious promise that he'll go with you as you represent him. A lesson from Luke chapter 10, beginning at the first verse. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals and do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, Peace to this house. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will return to you. Stay there, eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is offered to you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them, the kingdom of God has come near you. But when you enter a town and you are not welcomed, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town we wipe off from our feet as a warning to you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. That was the word of the Lord.